Yo guys, what's up? My name is Ronzel, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up Ryujinx emulator for your PC in 2025. All right. So, anyways, um, so first off, we're gonna go to our web browser to download Ryujinx, obviously. So we're gonna type out Ryujinx emulator. Alright, so we're gonna click on the GitHub link here called Ryubing. Yes, it's not mistaking, it is called Ryubing now. And there we go. And then, once you're in the GitHub page, you're gonna scroll down a bit over here. And you're gonna go to here, the Canary releases. You're gonna press on it. Alright, so here we go. And in the releases, we're gonna click on the latest one. Which is this one over here. And we're gonna select what... Uh, version we want uh, depends on our operating system. We have Windows, so we're gonna download this one. Okay, here we go. And you download it. And after you finish downloading, you extract this to wherever you want. Okay, here's the contents. And in a way, I'm just gonna paste this on the desktop. So, all right, here we go. Boom. All right, it's now on the desktop. I'm just gonna put it in the middle so you guys can see. Here we go. I'm just gonna rename this into Ryu Jinx because uh, so we would know what this folder contains, okay? There we go. So here it is, here it is, right? Okay, so actually you have to get these two things here, the keys and the firmware. Uh, I'm not gonna link these, definitely not link these below the description because I'm not sure if that's allowed on YouTube. So I'm definitely not gonna go and uh, link that down below, right? I'm not gonna do that because that's probably not allowed. So I will not link that in the description. If you want to download it, it's not gonna be in the description because I would never link such stuff right so anyways uh if you do have those now you're gonna go to the top of here and press the install keys and you're gonna go to wherever you place the keys and this one then you press yes and there you go and for the firmware you're gonna go just go below here and uh oh my bad get brought uh, here install firmware from a zip and select our firmware all right here we go we're gonna press this and uh, if you want to download these then uh, i don't know man it's not gonna be in the description below so um, i don't know where you could download it but um yeah i'm not i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna link it down in the description because um uh yeah i don't i don't want to right it's it's not gonna be in the description so anyway so if you want to load a individual game then you're gonna go to file and then open yeah, and then you're gonna go in and select your game. You could launch games like NSP and other type of files where you legally obtained it, right? You like extracted the file from a game cartridge, then you could play it, right? So, um, in a way, so let's, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what's the best settings and what they do. Alright, so we're gonna go to the settings over here. So, um, you wanna. If you want to like link your directory to the emulator, you just click on add and select whatever folder you have your game on. Here then you just press select folder. And same goes with the update directories. You just you know select wherever you have those updates, then you click apply and there you go. As you can see it's loaded up in the background. So anyway, so in input, if you want to set up your controller, you just like, uh, firstly, we connect our PS4, hold up, I'm gonna connect my PS4 controller, okay, here it is, and there you go, I'm gonna press the PS4 controller, and it's automatically set it up, so you can see here, it's already working, and if you want to set and edit the keys, then you just press here, and here, and here, and you just correct it, and then, uh, uh here's the controller type, uh, I just really recommend for you to use the Pro Controller, because we don't have those joy cons anyways. And if you want to play multiplayer, you just press over here and uh, let's see. Uh, as you can see, yes, but we're gonna just play single player, so it doesn't really matter that much. Hotkey settings doesn't really matter. Uh, system region doesn't really affect the gameplay that much and stuff because uh, I, don't, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Right? Match, system times, whatever. Uh, this one. 
we think it limits your FPS if you want it to stuck on 30 FPS just normal speed and stuff and also this is the DRAM you can select it to 4 to 12 gig but I just recommend it to set you that you set it to 4 right it's really unnecessary to set it up to 12 gig because um, it doesn't really need that much uh, DRAM also, here's the CPU. Uh, all of the all of these settings are like good enough, and uh, yes, doesn't really affect this much. But yes, it does um, make the game fast. Not really that unstable though. And here's the hacks. Uh, usually, you just set it set it to 50. Right? If you want a stable gameplay, if it doesn't really lag that much, you don't need to set it up high. Um, maybe I'm just gonna set it to uh, say uh, 200. Right, doesn't affect it that much, but maybe it could improve performance. But set it to 50 because it doesn't really lag on me. Right, I'm running with FPS. So, anyways, uh, the graphics backend Vulkan. So, if you have an AMD uh, a graphics card, you need to just select Vulkan because uh, Vulkan runs better than OpenGL. So, you can see here, I have a AMD graphics card, and also on the preferred GPU, make sure you select your uh, GPU and not the uh, uh, graph the what it right? onboard graphics on your motherboard and CPU and stuff anyway so um, here's some settings that it doesn't really need to tweak right you only need to tweak if you really like if your FPS is that low and you need to adjust something then um yeah you you can adjust them here and if you want a more high definition Resolution, you just, you know, go to resolution scale and select the higher one. Anti-aliasing, I really don't notice it, so I just don't put it there. So FSR, uh, as you can see here, I have AMD, uh, we have F FSR, I think on uh, NVIDIA, I still have those too. Aspect ratio, we select to 16.9, but it depends on what monitor you have, right? You just, uh, you, you know, adjust it based on your monitor. And the graphics backend, multi-threading, uh, you know, it's automatic. We don't want to really touch that stuff. And here, uh, it doesn't really matter. Audio, same thing, it's just sound. Network, oh yeah, here, you can set it up if you want to play uh, online multiplayer, but uh, yeah, I don't really just uh, set it up here. Yeah. So, uh, no, it doesn't really matter. In a way, so, um, yeah, that's all, you know. You can just maybe watch other YouTube videos if you want to, like, optimize the settings. And also, if you right-click on a game, you could uh, add some cheats to it, you know, some patches or whatever. Like, you could also add some mods here. You know, well, that's up to you. There's, I'm, pro I'm probably going to make a tutorial for those very soon. But, um, yeah. And so, if you want to open up your directory here, you know, you'll have your save file for the game here. Just in case if you want to move the save file to other emulators or move in save files from other stuff then you can just paste it there and um, yeah and that's ha th and that's it that's how you set up a uh, Ryujing simulator for 2025 anyway so if you like this video then click that subscribe button and like right anyways i'll see you in the next upload bye guys Mwah.